It's time for another Dice Tower Review with Brian Hoyer. Hi, welcome to another Dice Tower iOS game review. My name is Brian Hoyer, and this week we're going to look at a board game from a very well-known designer, and it's called Through the Desert. Now, when it was released in board game form, it was nominated for several awards. It was extremely popular over the years, uh, and it's probably most well-known for its very brightly colored plastic camel pieces that you place on the board. Now, how does all this translate when putting it into the iOS form? Let's take a look and find out. We're introduced to a very nice title screen with excellent artwork. And if you look down here, our options are play, resume game, rules, options, there's a tutorial, kind of the typical thing you'd expect to find on an iOS game at this point. So, let's start a game. The next screen shows us the different options for players. There's a human controlled player, computer controlled on easy mode, computer controlled on hard, no player if you don't want to have all four players active, or network you can play it online. Once the game starts, you're presented with a nice desert scene board, and there are four players in each of the corners. You've got the blue player. You all have the same colored camels, but it's the colored rider that matters. He's got all those blue riders. You've got the red, the green, and then the yellow. You can tell whose turn it is because there's the little patch in the corner is larger, and I'm the yellow player, so my turn to place. At first, you have to put your camel leaders, the ones with the riders on the board, one at a time, going around until everybody's used up their camel leaders. When placing them, you cannot place them next to an oasis or next to someone else's camel rider, even your own. So I'll take one of my cream-colored camels and I'll place them right there. Now play continues and everyone else continues placing their leaders around the board. You get one of each color, so I have to continue doing this. I'll put my purple one out. And for beginners, it's probably better to spread them around because it's kind of an area control game, which you'll see later as the game progresses. And we'll go around until we've placed all of our leaders. So as you can see, all of the camel leaders have been placed. Now the objective of the game is to win coins, or points towards victory. The way to get it is basically to connect a caravan extending from your leader to several things. First off, you can extend to an oasis, which would be the palm trees located around the board, and those are worth five points. Or you can place some of your camel followers on any of the little watering holes around the board. And when you land on one, you get three points for the large, two points for the medium, one point for the small. So I'll place green. I can only place green camels next to my green leader. I can't place them anywhere else. So if I click on the green and I drag him, I'll put him on this small watering hole right there, worth one point. And you can play two inch on each turn. I'm going to play another one and connect it to this oasis right here, which again is worth five points. And now the next player will play his two camels. So as you can see, the game kind of plays off of the whole desert theme pretty well. You want to control the water holes, you want to get to an oasis. But there's also some area control involved here. Because you cannot cross another camel's line. Right now my pink camel up here is getting cut off from a good section of the board there because he's already got his blue line surrounding me. You have to watch very carefully where everyone else is playing to make sure you don't get cut off from an oasis. The water holes etc. Because if you wait too long, eventually you might be surrounded and you may not have any way to build a caravan at all. Now, besides getting points for the various water holes in the oasis, you also get points if you close off a section of the board so that no one else can play there. Again, kind of controlling that portion of land. As you can see, the red player has already done it up here. And since I can't cross a camel's line, nobody else can get to that corner, so he got one gold for each section that he took over. So I'll play green again right here and now as you see I get points because no one can play there and it kind of changed it yellow to show my color since I get to play two I can place another camel 
I'm not going to go green this time. The nice thing is you can play different colors. So I'll place one blue over here to connect to the Oasis because I'm in desperate need of points right now and that'll get me five. So as you can see, as you play, the board will slowly fill up and once everyone runs out of one color, we've all used up our blue for instance, the game will end. At that point, the game tallies up one final score, this time going by color. It'll say, who has the most blue camels? Whoever played the most blue gets bonus gold for that. Then they'll go on to who has the most green, that person gets gold. And as you can see, whoever has the biggest pile, or the highest score at the end, will be declared the winner, and the game is over. So, final thoughts on Through the Desert. I feel that the theme is pretty nice, and the artwork and gameplay both tie into that theme fairly well. Uh, and there's an okay amount of strategy. Things I don't like about it, it's pretty light. It's definitely a filler game. It's not something that uh, you can sit and play all night. Maybe something while you're waiting for your board game group to get together, you can break it out and play once in a while. But I don't see myself playing it long term, and definitely not a lot. Also, if you're playing it alone, just know that the AI is very, very slow. So maybe playing with other players might speed up the process a little bit, but they really take the time placing the camels when you play against the computer. I'll give it one thumbs up. It's worth owning, but it's not something you have to have. Thanks for watching our review today. For more information about board games, as well as the number one board game audio podcast, check out Dicetower.com for reviews, interviews, and more. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.